Hey, first grade friends, we are coming back to our table of contents as we are looking for a section that we are really interested in in our nonfiction text, Brazil. So looking at our table of contents, we have several sections. Where is it? Beginning on page four. People, page six. Land, page eight. Celebrations, page 10. Animals, page 12. And then our conclusion is just going to wrap it up, kind of like your closing sentence as well as our glossary, that mini dictionary at the end of the text that tells us what tricky words mean. And your job is to pick a section that is of interest to you and find at least two facts that you can teach your reader about that, that topic. So I found the topic animals to be the most interesting. So I found the title animals. I saw it start on page 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn to page 12, pages seven, pages eight, page 11, page 12. And here's my heading. Notice that your heading matches the title that we saw on the table of contents, animals. Now I see a photograph of a sloth, a red tree frog, parrots. I then have a caption underneath that says, sloths, frogs, and parrots live in the Amazon rainforest. Now I'm gonna read a little bit of this section to decide what it is I wanna teach my reader. It says, many animals live in the Amazon rainforest. Parrots live there. Notice I highlighted that. I wanna teach my reader that parrots live in the Amazon rainforest in Brazil. They have colorful feathers. Colorful frogs live there too. Notice I highlighted that sentence. That's another fact I wanna teach my reader about the animals in Brazil. They live on the ground and in the trees. Now this section animals keeps going. So I could keep teaching even more facts. Many ants live in the rainforest. Ooh, it looks like we have a photograph of ants. Fire ants and leafcutter ants live there. That's another fact I could teach. Many spiders live in the rainforest too. Here's a photograph of a huge spider. The biggest spider in the world lives there. Ooh, I wonder if it's that Goliath bird-eating spider that we um, read about a couple weeks ago. It says leafcutter ants top can cut and carry very large pieces of leaves. The biggest spider in the world, bottom, can eat birds. That has to be the Goliath bird-eating spider. That's crazy, we learned about that a couple weeks ago. So all of all of these facts, you just have to pick at least two of them. So I was really interested in the parrots and the frogs. So I think I'm gonna teach my reader that parrots and frogs live in the Amazon rainforest and I really think I wanna tell them about how they are super colorful. So once I have my facts, I know what I wanna teach, then I can go to my writing page and start drawing a teaching picture. So notice that I actually already did this. And take a look at what you see. I split my, my rectangle here into two pieces. I drew a parrot. Notice I plopped him in the rainforest because that's where he lives. And I drew the red tree frog. Again, put him in the rainforest. I also added labels so that my reader knows exactly what these animals are. Parrot, rainforest, red tree frog. I want them to know these are trees. And I made them colorful because one of the facts I wanna teach them is that the animals that live in the rainforest are often very colorful. And I might even go back and add a little heading. Remember, a heading can go above a photograph or even words to tell what that section is going to be about. So I think I'm going to add the heading, animals in Brazil. How do I spell Brazil? Oh, it's right up in my prompt. Perfect, that way my reader knows these are animals that live in Brazil before I even write about them. So your job, friends, is to go back to your table of contents, decide which section sounds most interesting to you. If you wanna teach your reader where Brazil is, then where is it, page four. Oh, where is it, here's your heading. Maybe that's the page you wanna to talk to us about. Maybe you wanna draw a map of Brazil for us. It's up to you. So go back to your table of contents, select the section you wanna teach us about, find a few facts, and then start drawing that teaching picture.